Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a simple progress bar in Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Create a Windows Forms application. Let's call it. Let's call it um. Progress bar. Okay. Now, ins make the form a bit smaller, so maybe like that. Now, insert a, s a progress bar. And then make, make it so it fits all the way to the other end. Now insert two buttons. Call button one, start. And button two, stop. Now, insert a timer. Okay. Double click on oh, it. No. Click on the timer and then go over to properties. Set the interval to let's make it 500. That means it'll um it'll tick every half a second. Now, double click on the start button and type this code. Oh yeah, and if you don't want it to be all glitchy and stuff, make the stop button at the very start in, um, enabled equals false. Wait, sure. Enabled is false. So that way you can't just press start and you can't press stop at the very start. And yeah. Now, um, now make button one and make button one uh, enabled equals false so that way when you click it button two will be enabled now for button two double click on stop and then type in that way it'll disable the time and and There. Oh, and you might want to put in a clear button so it, it clears the thing. Out. So we can put another button maybe there. So let's just do that. Insert another button and then just put it right there. Call it clear. Okay, so now let's make it so that when the stop button is pressed, also, uh, let's just make the clear button disabled for now. Enabled equals false.
Now, when we click on the stop button, we'll make it so button 3 is enabled in this tree. Okay. Now, let's, um, now, double click on the timer. Oh yeah, that was just down the bottom there. Now let's make it so it, um, it goes, so, progress bar, what, one dot increment, plus one. There you are. And then, let's put in an if statement. If if progress bar one dot value equals one hundred, then um Ah, oh, it's happened the last time. Oops. Loaded. And then, to stop the message box from appearing hundreds of times, let's type in timer one. No, timer one dot equals. There we are. So now. Let's um put in the clear button. Oh, let's just try debugging it now. There we are. There we, we can clear it, but that doesn't do anything yet. Then we can just start it again. So I'll just I'll pause the video and then when it gets higher, I'll play it. Okay, so it's gotten higher, so wait and Okay, that's not supposed to happen. I'll just try to unglitch it or whatever. Oh, okay, so let's put timer one dot enabled equals false before the message box is loaded. Okay. Let's make it so it loads faster. So let's put it at five. Does that mean in ten seconds it'll load completely? Let's try it again. Start. There we go. Looks like it's loading much better now. Hopefully it won't go all glitchy on us. Uh, and if it still does, then there we go. Perfect. Now, we can make it so that button 2 dot enabled equals false and only button 3 is enabled. And there you are. Now, let's configure the clear button. And okay, so let's try running this again. Stop. Now we can stop it and then clear it. Then start. Wait for it. Then it disables those two, and you can just clear it. So there you have it a simple progress bar that can be used in programs and stuff like that. So, um, I'm VB Program 49. Thanks for watching.